back to Unleashing. I'm your host, Jared Bueller. I uh, wanted to make a video today and talk about uh, the oppression and difficulty that uh, people might be feeling right now. And uh, I just want to let you guys know that uh, you're not alone. Um, I'm seeing it more and hearing it more. And, and uh, you know, I've seen it a lot in my life for quite a while now. But uh, a persecution, almost like a trial that's taking place. If you're going through hard times right now, uh, you are not alone. Um, it's not like one or two. It is a huge majority that I see and I've heard from Christians that are struggling. Um, I'm talking like, you know, maybe you're on the verge of being homeless and uh, and things have just totally collapsed. The only thing you have to hold on to is uh, Jesus, you know. You're not alone in this situation. Um, we're, uh, we're in some tough times right now that are leading up to the tribulation. And I can't help but think of the verse in uh, Daniel 7.25 when it says that uh, the Antichrist will uh, oh, wear out the saints of the Most High. And even though I believe that's during the tribulation and talking about that, I can't help but feel, you know, because of the evil that works behind the Antichrist, which is Satan, um, the difficulties and stuff that people are dealing with right now are, is a, a small form of that. And, and some of it's pretty brutal. Um, jobs are tough. Things are tough. If, if you're still on the Trump train thinking that things are going to get better, um, a lot of people, I think, now are starting to wake up that the whole thing was a facade, uh, what I've been saying the whole time, you know, and uh, that I didn't figure out. Uh, I was told right, right in the beginning that uh, to let the dead bury the dead, the whole thing is uh, it's part of a plan to uh, usher in judgment on America, you know. And, uh, and I believe uh, Satan has already got all his guys, his Nancy Pelosi's and liberals, right where he wants them. Uh, that if they were to die, they'd be going straight to hell. But uh, this last bit is to deceive uh, um, Christians that uh, are just uh, Christian in name only, you know, and get them pulled over to the darkness and, and deceive them, which it's completely done. Um, you know, in these times right now, we need to be drawing closer and closer to the Lord more than ever before. I was really dealing with some stuff, and I felt like I was going to pull a million different directions. And uh, I kind of made a commitment a few weeks ago, and, and uh, I'm like, I'm not, uh, I'm going to do this right, you know. So I've been waking up first thing in the morning when I get up before I really do anything else and praying first, and then uh, and then reading the Bible before I even touch my phone or anything like that. And, and with the channel and stuff like that, I answer people's questions and I, and I check on different things and stuff like that. But, uh, you know, I don't want that ever to come first between my relationship with the Lord. And, uh, and I really needed to, to reset that. So I did it. And I feel like it's uh, it's been helping a lot. So, um, you know, but uh, it's just an example of what I'm talking about. I mean, um, in the times that we're in right now, we need to be drawing extremely close because the hour is so late. It's gone further than some of us expected. And, uh, you know, I don't doubt what people say in the visions because there's been so many and stuff that we get we get taken right up to the line. And, and we've seen that in, in history and the stories where God takes them right up to the, the edge of the Red Sea or uh, Sodom and Gomorrah about to be destroyed, you know, and then gets them out of there at the last second. So when people say that the bombs are coming down, you know, that we go up around the same time, is, uh, is something I can totally believe, you know, is that the second seal? It very well could be. But like I said before, Daniel and Revelation, they go like this. Is it an exact link on when the peace tre treaty is made, you know, that the, the seals start to break open? I don't think so. Uh, could it switch around a little bit? Maybe, maybe some seals start to open up starts the war and then from that they make the peace treaty that's the covenant with many could be something like that maybe uh you know only time will tell really as all i know is that uh people need to be drawing closer to god and as close as possible because um i mean these these are tough times and in a way he uses trials to pull us out of stuff maybe we're in too deep in the world and we didn't realize it and we need to come out of it and other times uh, you know, it's just uh, you being a Christian because it's not easy uh, and there's always going to be persecution and, and tough times. Like I say, I've experienced it a lot and uh, the world will hate you, you know, and they don't even know why that they do. And it's the evil in them coming against the Holy Spirit in you, you know. But uh, uh, 
I've seen it a lot, but you know, we're also getting closer into the trial. And like I say, everything is marked down and uh, things that you do that are uh, sacrificial, you know, for God, um, they will be eternal rewards. So, you know, more tests at the, towards the end of the line is also that push, you know, to, to give more, a little bit more um, with your heart towards God in that direction because, uh, you know, it's getting close to the end and there is no redo over. It's a one-time chance that we get to do this. So it's important. And uh, it's hard to tell the difference with which trial that each person is going through. But I can tell you that 2018 has been one of the toughest years of my life. It has not gotten easier. Since they set off in the quest in 2014 and I'm like, man, stuff's getting close enough. I'm like, I need to keep that promise I kept when I was younger to go tell my four friends, at least talk to them and let them know everything that I know and, uh, and give them a heads up. And I started in 2014, you know, but I was already starting to do some of that in 2013 and everything. Anyways... And uh, each year hasn't gotten easier. It's gotten more difficult along the way. And uh, 2018, oh my gosh, it has been one of the most brutal. And uh, <laughs> you constantly have to to check your faith, you know, because uh, you're 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 uh, you're fighting against your own mind in a way that tells you, can this stuff really be real? Is it about to take place? You know, because uh, a lot of it we're living uh, straight on faith and. Uh, and it is, it is taking place right in front of us, and you can trust that it is, and, uh, you know, you don't want to be put into a, a state of uh, complacency, which is so easy for the human mind and body to do. Can this literally be real? Is it really happening? And you're like a deer in headlights, and it is, it is really happening. And sometimes we find that faith is just almost just, it feels like leaning back in the air, and you don't want to look because you know nothing's back there, but God invisibly is holding you up. And it can be a little bit scary, you know, and uh, and a lot of a lot of times that's how I feel with the decisions and stuff that I make. <laughs> no, I'm like I'm leaning on invisibility back there, but it's still holding me up, and, it, and it's God, you know. And in my mind, I, I feel that a lot of times it's like that. Uh, I've been homeless for the first time this year for about I don't know how many months it was. It was around March to almost June and uh, and that was tough for me to go through for the first time I never not had a house or anything like that to stay in and I was staying in my truck and camping out in different places and, and that was extremely tough and, and uh, you know but uh, I made it through that and, and uh, I'm still making it but I watch like dead and things uh, start to increase on me as, as I just try to make it by I just got a new job that I'm starting soon and, and it's nothing to uh, retire with or anything like that. It'll just be to make ends meet. But I'm trusting, you know, that we're going to get out of here and fighting against those negative feelings and stuff. They're coming up. They come on by the enemy that tell me that, you know, oh, what are you doing? Blah, blah, blah. You need to be freaking out and, and starting to find a job that's going to be a career, 401ks and all this other stuff. And it's like, no, that stuff does not mean anything. By the time we've, I even, we're even, there's not even a few years left, really. Um, you know, but it's still something that we all struggle with and we're all fighting inside, you know. But I just want you guys to know that uh, you're not alone in this. It's uh, it's not something that just I'm dealing with or, or one other person or just you. Uh, we're all dealing with it in, in certain ways or another. i got family in California right now, and I just talked to one of them this morning, and, and they're talking about, the realization that they need to get out of California. And I, you know, I think about it a lot and I'm glad where they've been hasn't been touched by the, the man-made fires that have been uh, purposely done. And you guys know how I feel about do and what they're doing. It's like a plow job for China. That Obama gave uh, California away to uh, China along with Hawaii and other stuff like that. And they're coming to collect the debt. And everything's uh, preparing itself to wipe out America uh, that's going to happen in the tribulation. But there's uh, the pre the pre stuff that's lining up to it looks like it's there. But they're talking about getting out of there. And, and I hope that they do, you know, because uh, it's a dangerous spot to be. I also have family that lives over in Seattle. And it's like, that's just as dangerous over in, in that direction, you know. But, uh, but uh, how far into it do we, we go? You know, I know that we're not appointed to riot in the tribulation and stuff like that, but uh, there are things that have happened since Jesus was here, you know, that persecution it takes you straight up to death, uh, head chopped off and everything else, and it's serious. Uh, trials and tribulations that we go through that are not the actual great tribulation or the, the seven years uh, spoken of, you know, but definitely hard times they go through and uh, they can take homes and lives and everything else. So, you know, you always have to be uh, prepared for that well, because uh, we do, we do go through those struggles and it's very serious. It's not a, 
it's not a time of cushion or anything like that. And here in America, we get it uh, we get it relatively is easier than a lot of places, other countries where they have died and are persecuted to death, and they still stand their ground. Uh, we would we would probably be uh, pussies compared to other people, you know. And so our hard times aren't even as bad as some of the stuff that other people have gone through, but. Uh, but nonetheless, it's still coming. America is going to get hit hard. And uh, some of us are feeling it right now. And, uh, you know, all, all I want to say is, you know, just don't give up. Keep hanging in there. Jesus is coming back. He's uh, showing us all these signs. We knew that they would come. They are actually happening now in our time. But it's one of the most, you know... It, it's one of the most interesting times ever. We're getting taken right up to it. This is a this is the generation that's going to see it. You know, it's going to see Jesus return and uh, and everything else, and also the thousand year reign gets set up. and uh, And it's truly incredible because we're living it. We're living in very biblical times. All the stuff that was prophesied about it's taking place right now. And it's happening right before us, and, and uh, you know, people need to wake up, and a lot of these trials are for that very reason, that God's reaching out, He's allowing things to happen, to pull you out of the world, to uh, get off, get off the Trump train, basically, you know, that we're not going into a season of blessing, um, America's time has come, you know, did it start off good? Yeah, it, it did, and it was founded on Christian prim principles, and it's done uh, some really great things, and it's pulled away from them. Because evil knows how you do that, just like uh, California, for instance. Uh, you send in evil, and you start working on it, a uh, spiritual realm, the pillars, and you start bringing it down, taking the Bible out of places, and doing this and that. And that opens the door for physical attack, where you've pulled God's hand away willingly by doing it, by going into these stupid ideas, um, you know, that are uh, lured in by Satan and everything else. And, uh, and evil knows it too, and they bring, it brings it to its knees and, it, and it'll bring it crashing down. You can see the destruction is taking place, but and America's done that fully with uh, the millions and millions of abortions and everything else that take place and, and people aren't repetitive, you know? And you guys have heard me talk about it more and more and I'm glad that I'm seeing people talk about it more. That, uh, you know, we need to constantly be repetitive uh, in our Christian walk. It's not a once saved, always saved situation, even if people uh, believe that, you know? Uh, you can always realize the realization of this by taking it all the way to the extreme. Somebody that said they were a Christian once and is now uh, bought into the Illuminati and purposely, on purpose, trying to take people to hell for Satan. Are they still saved? The answer is absolutely no. And of course, that's the extreme version of it. So where do we bring that line back to, you know? And you have to bring it back to a daily walk. Is God, uh, you know, your first love in life? And uh, do you live for Him, you know? Or are you walking away? We all... We all are given grace and all the time and be able to repent and come back and, and we're back to an A plus just like that and, and to continue to walk. But it's always a daily walk and it always will be, you know. And the ones that don't want to have anything to do with that, the, those that dwell in the bushes, like I've said, that want to pop out there and be like, hey, I'm ready for the rapture. Um, you know, a lot of those, even though I talk and even if some are listening right now, that won't be going uh, in the rapture, they'll be staying in the tribulation. You know, the, the lesson for them is because I don't believe a lot of them even will change now. It's just too late in the game. They've already they've already drawn a line and they've jumped across to the side where they feel safe. And uh, the answer is that uh, that message is for you. That is why you're left behind or why you will be left behind. You made that choice yourself. And the tribulation is an adult spanking that'll take you to death, but it's designed to teach you that God's first and uh, and no matter what, you, you choose that order because the consequences of hell are eternal. And it's nothing that you want to mess around with at all. It's uh, to go to be with Jesus is worth dying for and anything else. And you had your chance and you squandered it by uh, going after riches and things like that. And it's so dangerous and, and it could cost you. And it will cost uh, lots and lots of people. Um, but, you know, those that uh, know the Lord know what's going on right now, this is our time to be drawing closer to Him. And some of these trials that we're in right now are for that very purpose, to help us draw closer. That, uh, you know, don't look at the world uh, as uh, you being saved or anything like that. And uh, a lot of it comes from, it really does, but what was started some years back in the whole prosperity gospel, and even I deal with it myself and, and even know the truth, you know, 
but uh, I still deal with it as well. That, uh, you know, you're a Christian, why aren't things going good? And the Bible never says that. In fact, it says just the opposite. The times would be tough and we would be persecuted <laughs> and things would be hard. It's never an easy walk. And that's why Paul says, you know, if it's ever anybody ever tells you it's for lucre's sake to walk away from it or it's for gain or something like that. Or, or if you become a Christian so that you're going to be more blessed and have more things, oh, you're, you're in it for the wrong reasons right from the start. And you're going to be in for hurting because it's the complete opposite. It's tough times. It's uh, it's hard times. It's more sacrificial of a life that we live, and uh, and like I say, even I deal with you know, God, I'm being so good. I'm doing everything right. Why is more trouble coming on now? And I've experienced that in my life. Where the more I'm doing for God, the more hardships coming on. And the times when I was slacking and being bad, hey, it was a cakewalk, piece of cake. Nothing's coming at me at all. No judgment. In fact, I'm even being blessed in a way. It's not being blessed. It's, you're not being persecuted by Satan anymore, and the evil's not coming on you as hard because you're not doing what you're supposed to be. So he's got you right where he wants you, you know, and uh, but we all deal with it and it's a leftover remnant of, uh, you know, of the name and claim it, prosperity gospel uh, of uh, being rich and stuff like that, especially here in America. And it was never supposed to be like that at all. And then we see Christians or people that say they're Christians, Christian name only. They're getting blessed and things look like they're going great. And you're just like, what the heck? Why is it going so good? But if you were looking to their soul or their heart, uh, they're not where they're supposed to be at all. They're doing uh, dirty deeds and uh, and cutting uh, cutting ends and, and screwing people over to make that money. And I think that that's from God or somehow uh, to be rich is godly. And it's actually the complete opposite. And I see business owners. I've worked at a couple of those kind of jobs, you know, where uh, they're pure evil. They have uh, no idea what they're doing. It's uh only Christian in name only, and, and to be a Christian is for a, a blessing, and uh, and uh, and they totally bought into that idea. But uh, you know, like I say, we all uh, we all have dealt with that in one way or another, and I've. I've definitely had to deal with it in my mind too. Like, God, why am I going through such a hard time? I, I haven't done anything wrong. I mean, I'm a hard worker. I'm not a drunk. I've never wasted my money on drugs. I'm not a prodigal son or anything like that. I, I do for you. I mean, I've gone to college or anything like that. Why can't, why is it just paycheck to paycheck? Why am I only barely getting by, you know? And of course, in that same process, he's moved me to different places where I only, sometimes I'll get to talk to somebody, you know, uh, even one person and I'll get moved around and it's, it's his will. And it's our pain, you know, but uh, in the end, to uh, to go with that and make that decision, it, it'll be worth it and it will be rewarded, whatever that reward is that he has in store, you know, but it's the right thing to do. So if you are going through that sort of thing, you know, and uh, and you feel like the struggle is just coming on, it's coming from every direction, we're all feeling it right now, every single one of us in one way or another. If you're walking with God, you're feeling some heat right now. That's just the way that it is. And that's because we're getting close to drawing uh, right up to the line. You guys have heard me say before, I think that uh, Satan and his crew have a way better idea of uh, this timeline than we do. I think they mentioned it when uh, Jesus was casting out the demons. Uh, and they're like, what are you doing with this before our appointed time? They knew the time back then. You guys have heard the story I did with the interview with Linda Mullen Howe. And what she brought out of the Pentagon that they were what they lied about and said. But they, they mentioned a timeline 2,000 years in the future from Jesus. They know this timeline is planning on it, and uh, and I think that they know real well. A lot of times, uh, I've heard people think that like uh, we're smarter than the demons and the fallen angels and stuff like that. No, we have authority through Jesus Christ, where the power comes from over them. But uh, our highest IQs, Einstein's and stuff like that, in the two hundreds in the world will be an absolute joke compared to a fallen angel, which would be like in the hundreds of thousands. Um, they know all kinds of things, and they have structures that they've built um, that. Uh, are just enormous, uh, 60 miles bigger in space. Just huge astronomical stuff that they've done and uh, and changed planets around and stuff like that uh, for their dwelling places. Like I say, before the flood, I mean, there was uh, Mars that they turned into a, a fallen angel a Nephilim oasis and uh, possibly Raphael, uh, Rahab uh, in the asteroid belt, you know? And I don't believe, I don't take the stance on uh, pre-edemic stuff. But uh, I definitely believe they can get things done quickly and stuff like that. But there's an intelligence there, and that's what I'm trying to say, you know. And I think that they know this timeline uh, very well. And they know that it's drawing near, and they can see it. And in a way, they're they're controlling because if they're uh, working on when World War III starts, and we know that uh, we get pulled up if the bombs go up, in a way, they are counting, knowing that God keeps his word, that we're not appointed to the tribulation. And if they were to start it, then they have a timeline in that sense 
that they're trying to create, but he all, God's also in control, you know, whenever they want to start, uh, things don't always, don't, don't work out that way. It gets shut down, gets shut down, gets shut down, you know, and things don't go according to plan because God's in control. But in a way, you know, they still have, they still have some knowledge and the other stuff is happening as well. And because of that, and why I'm bringing this point up, uh, I believe that's why this persecution, you know, it's a last minute test that we're, that we're going, uh, do you stay the course or you give in, you know? And uh, I encourage everybody to stay the course, even if the trial is tough. And draw near to God as close as you possibly can, because uh, it's getting to the point now where we as Christians got to hold on with two hands, and the one hand <laughs> trying to help everybody else at the same time and lead them to Christ. You know, where you're, you're holding on to Christ, doing the right thing, but you got one hand out here because you're trying to do it. You're getting to the point now where uh, we really got to hold on with two hands. They've already made up their minds. They're going into the tribulation. They've chosen their path. And, uh, I mean, if you if somebody still gets brought to you, absolutely uh, work to get them on board. But uh, I really feel like it's last-minute stuff. And, and I really feel like uh, here in 2019, this is going to finally be the year that it takes place. And all the stuff I'm seeing worldwide taking place with the wars and things like that, uh, we've uh, we've definitely amped it up. There's no coming back from this now. Um, I mean, every single thing is at its doorstep and prompt and ready to go. One of these things is going to get to go, and this whole thing's going to take off. And uh, and I believe America is going to get hit so hard, very fast. Um, if you're not right with Jesus, uh, you're going to want to be. <laughs> you're going to want to get out of here because. Uh, and if you don't, you're going to want to get right with him real quick because you won't have m much long to live uh, when it starts. We know their plan. They, they want to kill off six and a half billion people or more and this will take place in the tribulation and, and it's going to and there's going to be all kinds of horrors and things that, that take place you don't have anything to do with so if you've been backslidden you know this is your wake-up call uh to get right and it won't be easy it's not easy right now everybody's going through tough times you won't be alone but uh at the same time it's absolutely needed we need to be drawing close to the lord closer than ever and and getting our hearts right you know and uh, forgiveness and everything else and repentance and, uh, and be walking close because it is a daily walk. If you had just asked the Lord in your heart once back in your life, you know, and you're off doing whatever sort of sin there is, not thinking there's anything to it or could care less, well, you probably aren't even watching this because you're blinded to the whole situation. But, uh, you know, if somehow you have, uh, it's time to repent. You uh, you ask for forgiveness and you give up those things. And we're daily working with you, you know, and some people might try to and, and are going through the struggle. Well, welcome, welcome to the fight. Because uh, sometimes we can't give it up overnight, but it's a daily walk. You keep doing it, and every day you're asking for forgiveness or when you mess up. And you put it in your heart that's important, and you're constantly working towards that to give it up. You know, in my life, from where I've grown up as a teenager, you know, there's so many sins and things that I've given up. I try to walk in the path, and we won't completely get rid of them all until we are in our new bodies. And that, that's going to be so nice, and a lot of us look forward to that that uh, we won't have to worry about that plague of sin. It won't even be entered into our mind to worry about it. You'll be able to think and do whatever you want, you know, with never having that sort of temptation again that we have while we're in the body. But uh, until that time, we're always fighting, and even old tests that we've passed before can get brought back up. I mean, you have to turn it down, you know, and constantly continue that fight, but that's what makes the difference, is that daily fight, that daily walk that's refining you to be the Christian and the person that you're going to be, uh, you know, a adopted child of the Most High, so it's very important that we constantly do that. And uh, you know, I just I just want to get a few words out here and, and say this stuff. But uh, I know that there's a lot of hardship going on right now, uh, me included as well. Uh, this has been a very tough year, and uh, if I look at the way that things have been going over the past four or five years, <laughs> 2019 doesn't get any easier. It's probably going to be even harder, you know. But we're about to get called home soon. And uh, we have a joy in that and uh, it's something that the world doesn't have. Why they might be going through difficulties and stuff like that. They don't have that encouragement and that hope that we do. Uh, that blessed hope that we're going to get to go be with Jesus. What the whole thing was for in the beginning, you know. And uh, and our, our very sole purpose, you know, to to uh, live with him for eternity and, and, uh, and get to enjoy the awesomeness that that's going to be. And it's going to be incredible. So hang in there and and don't give up. I know it's tough. Uh, it's real tough right now, but, uh, you know, focus on him and making it uh, each day, you know, one day at a time and, and stay close and, you know, be quick to repent and uh, and know that when you get called up, you stand before him by yourself, you know, nobody else, uh, nor no organization or anything like that. So 
It's very important, uh, you know, to continue our walk. And uh, like I say, don't get dis don't be discouraged and think that the whole world's coming on you by yourself because it's not. We're all getting it right now. Every single one of us, including you, and all in our different ways and all in our distant. All on our different uh, testing phases from one thing, maybe health to finances to another or jobs in another. <laughs> I feel like I've dealt with all three. <laughs> Anyways, it can be tough, all right? But don't be discouraged. I believe that time's almost up and we have enough evidence that it is, that it's pointing towards it. And, uh, and for that reason, we can look up uh, with hope and know that we're about to be out of here soon, very soon. Even though we might get taken right up to the edge, um, he is going to get us out of here and something that we can count on. But, uh, you know, be as cautious as you can because whatever uh, sort of fire we have before the tribulation starts, you know, you want to be prepared, like I say. So be smart about everything uh, always and, and trust uh, trust in the Lord and, uh, and stay close and draw closer to him right now, especially in these last days. I think it's very important. All right. I'll catch you guys next time in the leash. Just wanted to get a few words out. God bless. Talk to you later. Bye.